Okay, here we are in a dark garage. Um, looking at old fuse panel here. These are all the old, if you can see them here, the old round ones. Um, here, up here, are the cartridge type. These, just unscrew. You can see there. Now there's two different types. These. And this is a 30, I believe. Yes, 30. Uh, so you'll need another 30 with the same size socket on it. Go back in. Now, um, these are cartridge type. And they get very hard to get out. Okay. And these, then what I did, I just had to replace this cartridge one on the bottom. Because it goes to the water heater. And the water it blew. Shorted out. And I fixed the short. And I don't know if you can see that or not. Poor light, I know. But I'm doing the best. These, you pull these out. Take it down to the hardware store. And get the exact, you know. If it's a 30 amp you pull out, put a 30 amp in. If it's a 40 amp, put a 40 amp in. Whatever it is, make sure they go back the same way they come out. When I pu pull this one out, I mark the top with a little X so I know that was the top. And you'll, you'll pull it out of these holders. Then you'll, when you get the new one, you put it right back in. Take this. I like to give a good shove and bam, they're back in. Oops, sorry about that. Uh, yeah, they're in. So, um, preferably your label will be labeled as to what these go to. These have faded, but I could barely make out water heater and kind of had to figure out it was going to be one of these lower ones. And uh, so anyway, that's how you change the fuses and the cartridge type fuses. Some of these have a mixture. I have a breaker box over here that you can't see. There you go. Um, has a breaker to something I've never figured out what it goes to. So anyway, these are typically your receptacles, lights, and stuff like this. These are 220. Typically go to the, I think this one goes to the dryer. This one's go to the water heater. Furnace is one of these, and maybe the air conditioner, I'm not sure, because I can't read the, the legend. Anyway, most of these will go to 110 amp outlets, lights, stuff like that. So, something to keep in mind if you have one of these. Donald out for blue collar DIY. And, and I'll just add, if you're not comfortable, call an electrician. It's going to cost you some money, but you're dealing with electric. So, if you're not comfortable messing with these, call an electrician. Um, or somebody who knows what they're doing. Um, th these things are antiquated, in my opinion. Well, they are antiquated. Uh, because nowadays, we've, we've progressed to breakers, which are much simpler to operate and, and uh, work on. So anyway, um, just uh, be careful when you pull these out. Because that socket that's behind there is energized. Uh, that's why it blew the fuse to begin with. So, in this case, it was one of the 220s. And so now we're ready to go. And y'all have a good day. Donald for Blue Collar DIY. I'm out.